Hello, welcome back to the VMP Performance Channel. My name's Jeremy, and today we're installing our new Predator Pulley Hub for the 20 and up GT500s. Let's get to work. You're gonna start by removing the battery cover and disconnecting the battery. There's three push clips here. You just spin them out and pull them. Next, you can take the positive side off. Go ahead and unclip it from here. Next, we're gonna drain the coolant. I use a fluid evacuator. While that's draining, you can go ahead and unbolt your degas bottle. They're 10 millimeter bolts. You can go ahead and remove your bypass hoses as this is draining. I used angled needle nose. After you're done draining the degas bottle, I like to take my heater hose off of this side and take my fluid evacuator and getting the rest of the coolant out of the top of the engine. Now that we've drained the coolant, we're going to go ahead and remove the degas bottle. It's a quick release clamp. Just squeeze it. Be sure not to let the hose drop in case there's coolant left in the hose. Go ahead and pull your bottle out. Now that we've removed the degas bottle, we're gonna go ahead and remove our air filter assembly. Go ahead and remove your vacuum line, your PCV line, your air temp sensor. Go ahead and loosen your eight millimeter clamp on the throttle body as well as on the air filter. And go ahead and pull your air filter out now. Go ahead and remove the wiring from the box. There's also a clip holding this bypass hose on. Go ahead and pop that off. Now remove your 10 millimeter hold down bolt. Slide in your snorkel. You're gonna have to flex the box past the fender and just pull it on out. Next we're gonna remove the belt. I use my uh, long half inch ratchet with an extension on it. It's gonna go out down to a 3 H drive. Go ahead and remove your belt from the supercharger pulley. Now we're going to go ahead and remove this pipe. I went ahead and I put a drain pan underneath. And as you can see, I got a pig mat underneath to catch any of the coolant we did not get out of the engine. There is two 10 millimeter nuts on top and two eight millimeter bolts on bottom. And we'll go ahead and remove the eight millimeter bolts. I use a quarter inch drive with a little universal socket in there. Go ahead and unplug your temperature sensor. It does have a lock on it. So remember to pull your lock out. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove the supercharger drive. For this, I use a small extension with an acorn head and a shallow 10 millimeter socket.
So now we're going to pull this out. There's a spot right here where you can get a screwdriver or my trim tool fits good, where you can pry against the edge of the drive and the supercharger and it'll just pop right out. This one has been updated with a gasket. Now let's get this over to the vise. We're gonna start by removing your coupler off the back of the drive. Just used a pocket screwdriver. Set that to the side. Go ahead and vise down the drive. This cover is not reusable. You're gonna go ahead and pierce it. Go ahead and pry it out. Next, you're gonna use a 17 millimeter hex bit. And remove your pulley. Now we're going to install the hub. This is red Loctited and then torqued down to 65 foot-pounds. This is a 24 millimeter socket. Next, we're gonna install the pulley. Go ahead and take your six five millimeter Allen heads and blue Loctite. And we're gonna tighten these down to 72 inch pounds. Now we're gonna reinstall our coupler. Let's get back to the car. Now we're gonna go ahead and reinstall the drive. If it came with a gasket, go ahead and reuse the gasket. If it did not come with a gasket, you can go ahead and use anaerobic sealer. As you're installing the shaft, rotate the coupler to find the detents. And everything should just fall into place. So I recommend putting a little blue Loctite on these. Always start your bolts by hand, never with a gun. And go ahead and tighten it up. Oh, look at how pretty that is. Let's go ahead and install your crossover tube. Eight millimeter bolts on the bottom, 10 millimeter nuts on the top. A 2.8 pulley in below requires a belt change, so we're gonna go ahead and change this belt out. There's a 15 millimeter nut on the front of the tensioner. Go ahead and release that tensioner. Take off your accessory belt. Go ahead and pull that up out of the way. We'll reinstall this.
So first you're gonna flip it inside out and you're gonna go across the tensioner first. Pull it up on the tensioner and then wrap the bottom of the crank. Now you've got it around the bottom of the crank pulley. You're gonna come up through this idler right here. On the other side of the tensioner, you're gonna wrap the AC belt. You're gonna wrap the AC pulley. You're gonna come up over the other idler, the ribbed idler. Get it up here to your supercharger. Now that you have it on, you're gonna run your hand around the belt and make sure you have it in all the right spots. Make sure your AC pulley is incorrect and your crank pulley, which they are. Now we're gonna reinstall your accessory belt. I wrap it on top of the water pump and across the tensioner first, and around the crank and over the alternator. Everything should stay there and hang out for you. Now the only thing left is compress your tensioner and go around your smooth idler. Now we're gonna reassemble. Go ahead and connect your temperature sensor. Be sure to lock it. Go ahead and connect your heater hose. Make sure it locks. Let's go ahead and get this air filter box put back in. Air filter box, have your snorkel inside of it. Pay attention to your hoses and your wiring here. Simply push it down past this fender. And it'll pop in. Take your snorkel and engage it into the nose of the car. Go ahead and reconnect your hose to the back of the air filter box and your air temp sensor. Go ahead and connect it back. 10 millimeter hold down bolt. Take your air filter, go ahead and lay it inside here. Oh, and make sure the seam is pointing down. Go ahead and install this. Okay. Tighten your band clamps. Go ahead and take the time to make it look pretty. Now go ahead and reconnect your vacuum line, your PCV line, and your air temp sensor. We're gonna go ahead and reattach the degas bottle here to your quick release. Sure it's locked in. Go ahead and remount your degas bottle. Reinstall the two 10 millimeter bolts. Install your bypass hose on both sides. Now we're going to refill the cooling system. I use an airlift system.
Go ahead and pull a vacuum on the cooling system to 28 inches of mercury. Reinstall your radiator cap. Now we're going to reinstall our battery cable. Go ahead and re-tighten the 10 millimeter nut. Reinstall your battery cover. your clips are out. Just push them in. And that completes this installation. For your horsepower needs, contact us at vmpperformance.com. And if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you at the next one.